So if you've toured at all, you're probably familiar with the concept of a song macro. Basically, uh, a touring show might have as many song macros as there are songs. Uh, each macro is for a different song. It will select time codes, select pages, select sequences, all that fun stuff. I'm going to show you guys how to build one in MA3 today. Let's take a look. Okay. So to, for starters, I have created pages, time codes, and sequences. Um, all labeled the same so you can see if a page better song best song time code better song best song and sequence better song best song it's important to uh, keep your labeling consistent when you're using song macros with variables like we're going to be doing today so let's go in here and let's edit we're just going to insert a bunch of new macro lines and let's label this better song okay let's look at our first command here okay so we're going to be setting a variable here if you don't know what a variable is, it basically allows uh, the console to look at what we're, well, we're going to tell it what we want it to look at, and then that can change throughout uh, throughout the, the show file at different moments in time. It's very helpful. Set global var. We're going to be naming what the variable is here, so I'm going to call it current song, and we're going to name this better song. Okay. So that's the name of the macro, that's the name of the page, that's the name of everything, basically. So now in our next line, we're gonna go page, current, song. So basically, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna start filling in the gaps, and basically anywhere that we use the term better song, if we're telling it we want to pull up the page associated with this variable, it will look for page labeled better song. We're going to select executor 201 page again current song okay all good um, next we're gonna go off time code I'm assuming that we're doing time code on this show one through this is gonna off all of our time codes because obviously if you're transferring from one time code to the other uh, you don't want the other time code to keep running potentially that could be not great we're going to rewind the time code that three x's that's what that does one through fantastic okay and now let's go time code current song so this is again going to look at that same variable it's going to try to find the time code labeled better song and that's what we're going to be using we can go select time code current song lovely and now in our next one I'm going to add an off page command so typically uh, this what this will do is it will turn off all the sequences on any page that we want it to so I will have kind of my fixed page as page one so I want to off page two through say a hundred minus current song so what this is going to do is this is going to off all of the pages uh, well, from two through a hundred, except for the song, whatever page we're on with the current song. So whatever song is labeled, whatever page is labeled better song, we're not going to off that page. That page will stay on. And that's important because we selected that page up here. So we need to have this line. And then our final line that I'm gonna add is gonna be a go Q point zero five. This is a, a pretty common thing in a lot of show files. You'll have point zero five Q within a sequence is going to be the setup Q. Um, that basically is triggered by the macro and sometimes by the time code as well. Okay, so let's kind of debrief what we have here. We're setting the variable to be current better song. Um, we're going to select that page. We're going to select the executor on that page. Off all the time codes. We're going to go on time code labeled better song and select that one as well. And then we're going to off all the pages except for the current song better song all right let's close out of here and let's let's run this macro and see what we got notice that our time codes and sequences are not selected for any of the any of these right now if i run this boom okay we've selected our sequence our our uh better song sequence we've got our playback has gone to page three and it's selected this sequence here and we're also running that time code which is just running because I have an internal time code right now and I did record something here uh, and when we ran that it basically hovered on point Q point five so it went there and it stayed there until the time code did start running so now let's run 
Uh, let's make one for best song. We can just copy this, copy macro three at, put that there. If we go in here, we can label this best song. And under the variable, we're just gonna change this one thing to best song. And now all of this can stay exactly the same. And if we select this, we've gone to page four, which is best song. We selected that sequence. And now we're running that time code as well. Again, this is just running because I have it set to be an internal time code. And we jumped to Q.5 uh, before this started. We can go back and forth between the two. And we're basically just switching back and forth between them which is really cool. So that is kind of the basics of a song macro, assuming you're using time code. Uh, if you're busking, you can add things, you can pull up specific views or layouts. Really, you can add anything in that you want to have um, to in any specific song. Very, very helpful.